Good morning folks. We had a 5.2 out in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge uh, just a few hours ago. We have two cases of bird flu, one in uh, South Africa, that's mostly just animals, and one here in Indonesia, and that's affected five people. We also did have an avalanche in India last night. That's the eighth one in the last four months. Hubble has revealed a new type of planet, an all-water world with a thick atmosphere. This is a very good read. We'll put it below. Another good read, uh, if you don't know what buckyballs are, just take a look at the, some of the little shapes that are making up these balls, and uh, it should take you from there. Germany uh, ruling out expanding the EU bailout fund. Uh, it's about time somebody recognized that you can't fix debt with debt. Keep your eyes on the skies, everyone. Apparently, there have been a very large number of uh, February fireballs, and they're moving in very, very slowly. They're hitting Earth's atmosphere at less than 15 kilometers per second. They're lasting a while. You might be able to see something cool. A lot of people have sent me this story about this huge uh, underwater storm. Uh, if you have any concerns about it whatsoever, it's actually not that unusual of a story. Uh, we'll put the link below so you can uh, keep an eye on it. Having a look at the critical frequencies in our F1 and F2 layer, the stronger signature would be the F2. Uh, basically, all you need to know is that we're really juiced up. At this point in the year, in Gakona, Alaska, we should not be registering any F1 critical frequencies whatsoever, and uh, it's very plain to see that we are uh, registering some strong ones. Yesterday was actually a very strong day. This means we're over-ionized, we're juiced up, and this has been continuing for the last six months. Coming over here and looking at some of the solar active regions on the sun, this one is a uh, very strange shape. It's got a very odd magnetic complexity, uh, but it is turning over the limb uh, and probably isn't much of a threat. What's turning over the northeastern limb and will be facing the Earth in a few days is something that we're going to have to watch. Uh, it may just be an alpha spot, but we'll keep an eye on it. We have about 24 hours until another corona hole stream hits us from that dark corona hole down there at the bottom of the sun. We're just coming out of one right now. We have a magnetic filament that's pretty much pointed right at the earth right here. We have another little one just north of it. And turning the northeastern limb, we have another uh, magnetic filament there. So that's the news, folks. Lots to keep an eye on. Be safe.